Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having had a lovely Easter. I had a lovely Easter long weekend here. Sorry, itchy nose. Um, yes, and today we've got rain. We had such a beautiful weekend and now it's decided to rain when I had the most beautiful large load of washing on the line. Hello, Miss Eda. Um, yes, since decided to rain on my clean washing. So lots and lots of fun here this morning. My name is Ella Moorbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. So today is the 2nd of April. So there are lots and lots of things. Hey, Bev. Lots and lots of things happening this month. Hey, Margie. Um, we have the retirement list coming out next week. So this is the things retiring. Sorry, I've got a ruler in here marking a page. So I've got the retirement list. I'm part about halfway through going through the catalogue and marking everything. Hey, Ros. And um, we also have our... Mini catalogue retire. Oh, hold on, let me grab it. My mini catalogue retiring as well. So my plan is on Thursday, I'm going to go through both catalogues, tell you what's retiring, tell you what has discounts in Australia, um, and all of the things. So it's probably I'm probably going to be moving fairly quickly through the pages, um, but it's going to give you an idea of what's going. And what's staying. Um, not everything will be going into the new catalog. Some things are going to go from the catalog to the online store, uh, to the online exclusives, and then some some things from the online exclusives have come into the brand new catalog. So this is a brand new catalog, and before I go with our unboxing, this is a special thing I received in Melbourne that I'm very happy I can share with you, because it only got released today. And sorry, my other computer isn't playing nicely. Um, it only got released today and I already have it because I received it on stage. So there are some pricing increases, okay, with the new catalogue. So I have obtained, not illegally, just obtained a list of things that are actually um, going to be going up in price. So I've been telling you rough things. So um, now is the time to stock up on some of these items so our um our card stock is all going up in price our basic white and our clear envelopes our white craft ink refill our ink refills memento and stays on and our stamp and blends two packs and our versamark so that's all in our ink range in our adhesives we have um, our black dimensionals foam adhesive sheets foam adhesive strips mini glue dots and our multi-purpose green glue that i always use that they are going up in price so the miscellaneous things are our blender pens our embossing paste our watercolor pencils um our storage which i do have videos on youtube on my storage and it is the stampin up storage hey brenton so the ink pet the ink pad and marker storage the open square storage the stamp and blend storage the topper lid which is just the flat lid and the topper storage lid are going up in price um unfortunately the list i obtained only has the american pricing but it gave me all the things so the tools that are going up in price are our blending brushes both large and small bone folder our cut and emboss mini plates our cutting blade refills which come in four oh no someone's giving me this sorry i just had a, oh my god i need to replace someone's but i gave my trimmer blades to someone else 
the heat tool, our paper snips, the trimmer, crunches. Hello, Miss Maureen. Um, our chamois, which is the purple chamois that I use. Our uh, Simply Scoring tool, which is big 12 by 12 scoring. Um, sponge daubers, our spritzers, take your pick die brush tip, which is that one because I could easily grab it. The putty refill. Oh, please excuse me. Um, the putty tool and the whole tool that you buy it. So not all the bits, but the replacement putty tools and then the whole tool that you buy as one. So they are the things that are um, increasing in price. Thank you. Um, so if you wanted any of those items, I do recommend that you do stock up um, as much as you can. Um, I just put in an order for a lot of cardstock that is due to me this week. Um, and as a demonstrator, I was able to pre-order last night um, items from the new catalog. So I bought some catalogs and I bought a few other odds and ends that I missed in my first order after on stage. So um, I pretty much had everything, but I needed more because I miss things and then I saw people use things like you know I influence you and you go I haven't used that like that before P other people do that to me so don't think that I'm immune from the oh, I wish I ordered that because it happens all the time oh what are we eating Cindy we need to know what we're eating hi um so today we are here to play with the kit collection so this is a brand new one um all the way from melbourne via the us i dare say um that came to all on stage attendees the box is a little the box is a little beaten up because um it came home in my suitcase but because i was socializing and doing other activities during the time that i should have been making my make and takes it's brand new it hasn't been opened. It's completely brand new. So I thought we could do it today. So this is the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. It is a crafting kit. So there's no stamping in this, just assembling. So you get your pack and you get a, my favorite, Ziploc bag full of honeycomb pieces that we are going to use. I shall be cutting the Ziploc bag as you know so now I think it is a good time to flip around and while I flip around I normally I don't always buy the kits we get every month um because not because I don't love them it's just because I only have so much space but this month I was gifted this kit as part of On Stage and the other kit is so cute. It's a pet kit. So it's got cats and dogs on it. It's so adorable. I ordered it at midnight last night. Um, yeah, Bev, who was here, can tell you how much I was ooing and ahhing at midnight about this kit. So... Um, are you a fan of kits? This is what I want to know while I'm flipping around. Oh, you ordered that kit too, Bev. Um, tell me, are you a kit person? Do you enjoy kits? Um, because I'd love to know because you're my audience and I like to share things that you like. Spicy chicken meatballs, brown rice, asparagus and spicy sauce. Ooh, sounds good. Hey, Suzette, how are you? Um, yeah, are you a kit person or are you particular with your kits? Okay, so let me, sorry, I've just had to move some cordage. Let's flip around. You, Marjean loves kits, that's good. Marjean, have you, is it time for you to see the new kits yet? Or am I doing a sneaky peek for my US peeps? Don't mind me while I almost fall over. Okay, so I just need to flip my screen and put this over here, oh, that down. Do a titch of a zoom there. Your particular, yeah, I have lots as well. 
Yeah, I need to do like a kit class where people come and pay money and make cards from different kits. I think that's a. I think I think that'll be a good class. Um, if anyone watching is um, or comes to my in-person classes, would you be interested in a in-person um, an in-person kit class? Because I normally make the things for you guys and then I don't always get a chance to go back and make them. There we go. Let me mute myself here. Turn my screen. I think we're looking pretty good. Maybe. Maybe. Not quite. Only because I'm just a bit particular. Okay, I'm going to hit the lights and then I'll be back and we'll get started. There is just so much news to share with you guys at the moment. I um, feel like I um, use a lot of the time sharing news with you guys. But I think it's a public service that I share the news with you girls and guys. Okay, so I need a pair of scissors. And first and foremost, we are going to cut the Ziploc bag. Actually, recently I have managed to open some ziplock bags but i guarantee you you like them for a quick card suzette yes absolutely oh i'm doing a sneak peek oh i like that machine you guys wouldn't have long to wait how long till midnight um utah time what is that mountain time utah i think it's mountain time Okay, so we have our, first and foremost, we have our destructions that we only, I know they are instructions, but I only partially, um, you know, use them. So they will be our finished product. We will make three, don't worry. And this is what you get. Oh, my friend Heidi shall get some uh, lovely... Oh, that's okay, I'm still going. Just my um, my refresh screen decided to go on me. Um, she will get all the other languages. So we get multi-languages in here. And then we get our instructions. So we do get full picture instructions and full colour, which I really like. Um, and you get here all the pieces that you need for each card. So I'm going to start there and go through all the bits and maybe corral some things. So you get a nice sheet of dimensionals. These are slightly different in thickness to our normal dimensionals. I do have a bit of twine, mountain time. Three and a half hours. Oh, this is a good sneak peek for you then, Marjean. Hey Kay, how are you? Okay, so white twine, well, white baker's twine. Always needed if there's some left, that's always good. Oh, look at this rainbow card. That is so, so, so pretty. Oh, I need to cut this in half. There is no way I can waste that amazing paper. Oh, my God. And it's glossy. So the actual rainbow has like a glaze on it. Yeah, that is getting cut in half. I hope you girls and guys all agree with me. So, oh, okay. So we have different envelopes. So these envelopes don't go with that. These envelopes, one, two, there should be three. There's one at the back here. So, we get three envelopes that go with our rainbow card, like that, just making little piles here. Have three envelopes to go with our berry card. So, this is our balloon card. 
Now this is okay. I can handle using the whole card front for this. Um, and we need it for the inside anyway. Do we need it? Oh no. No. We need it for the inside of that. Oh boo hiss. Right. So that is our balloon card. Great. And then we've got all of our sentiments, which are pre pre-printed pre-cut because it's crafting kit these are our berries how fun are they oh, and printed on the inside as well i like that edition being printed on the inside so these are our, uh, our other sentiments and these are all of our die cut bits got this nice piece of sturdy chipboard that my dear friend jamie will use yeah but bev what what do you think now we're being cut in half that there's something on the inside hmm very very hard very hard to do hard to work out okay so berry envelopes berry card i'm going to start here these are our little glue dots that i found particularly hard to use but that's okay so just one of these. Okay, I'm going to have my box open, ready to collect all my things. So I'm just going to chuck this on the bottom. I'm going to put my other, I'm going to keep one of these out sideways, put two of these in. Because the good thing is we have a box to corral everything in. Now we're going to need a bone folder. So, so far out of my stash, I've taken a pair of scissors to open the kit and a bone folder. No, I know, Beverly. Oh, I'm so sad. But I'm glad you initially agreed. Okay, so we've got that. Now out of this sheet, I need very proud of you i like that just trying to be gentle getting that out and i need the congrats just because i've got it here i can take it out and put that to the side and that's all i need out of here I am going to put these in the box out of the way. That's fine. Now, out of this sheet, and I probably should have this here with us, I am going to need, not a sun ray, I need this. Like the top of the berry. And this. And I need a strip now we haven't gone over the colors that coordinate with this I'll pop that over there because I'll need more pieces on our destructions it does actually tell us what colors coordinate so we've got berry burst blueberry bushel floaty flamingo granny apple green lemon lime twist lemon lolly petal pink and pool party they're really good colours all together. Okay, so now we have our pieces. We are going to... So, I've already folded my card. I am going to need... On this piece, I'm going to need dimensionals. Oh, lovely of you to join us, Miss Louisa. Can you get by? Louise has come to join us under the table. Hey, Linda, how are you? Okay, so it recommends three of these. Two and three. Oh, I see how it's all going to work. So this is going to be the centerpiece. So we want the sentiment like above or below 
it doesn't really matter um, I'm just going to do a bit of it they say above I don't know I'm never a huge fan of above sentiments could we do below what do you reckon for the sentiment above like on this or below because what I can do, oh, I need to do a bit of trimming of this. I didn't pull it out so well. There we go. Just have some extra white paper that shouldn't be there. So, and dimensional on both of these. Okay. So the other tool I am personally going to use is my take your pick tool or a pokey kind of tool. But these are tools that most people do have in their stash. Um, you could also use the edge of your scissors for getting the backs of these. So if you were to take this to a friend's, um, you really wouldn't be needing a lot of course it wants to stick to my extremely long nails at the moment well overdue to get that fixed but that will happen later this week now the one thing I haven't got out is do you know what I'm actually okay with that not being at the bottom Okay, who took them? No one took them. It's just they're here. So I am going to need one of these honeycomb pieces. <gasps> so pretty. The thing is, these, these particular cards, the berry cards, they're going to be quite hard to mail. So they're going to be a card that you give to a person in person or you want to have like a box envelope or something like that below. Okay, thank you girls for validating my feelings that that needed to go below because, yeah, I really thought it did have to go below. Okay, I'm going to take these honeycomb pieces and these are going to go in the box as well because I've just got, I've put all the appropriate. Louisa, you didn't have to steal that. It fell on the floor and I always blame Louisa when things fall on the floor. Okay, so I've got one there. We've got our one and Louisa is guarding our son. Good girl gonna put your head down and go to sleep she's looking at me going no mum of course not okay so if we are going below which means I can probably put this piece a little maybe a little further up I think that'll work okay so let's get these ones off get it situated do you think i'm do you okay beverly and linda and i'm so sorry bev it's just because i see your real name i always say it um do you normally put your sentiments at the bottom and that's what you prefer or now i'm just being nosy and curious Okay, now they would use some of these dots. I am going to use some of my multi-purpose glue. Now, I have a feeling that isn't straight, but do you know what? We're not caring. Because it's a really fun, cute card that just doesn't have to... It depends on the card. Okay, fair enough. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye, Brenton. I missed you going. Oh, that's lovely. He'll be back in, in the replay. Such a lovely young man. Okay, we spent some 
time together at on stage he was sitting next to me we were we were naughty in the back row actually we really weren't we were actually really nicely behaved sadly sadly I need to I need to have more mischief okay so I just want to try and lift this piece this is going to be very much easier said than done terrible at getting these ones off and I know it's self-adhesive are they self-adhesive this is where I ask the question okay it tells me it's self-adhesive ah I've got one edge that's good I just need two edges Just patience. Apparently. Well, my nails are definitely... Oh, look at that, too. Okay. So, what I think I need to do here... I've got this stuck to one hand, right? So, I want to put a titch of glue probably around there. Because I did kind of eyeball this earlier. Oh dear, I haven't taken this friend off. Oh, look at that. Right. So, I think we're going to be about there, right? This is, the, the front of this card is going to be incredibly dimensional. Now, what I want to do is kind of, maybe I do want to even further up. I'm thinking I just need to get like half of it down and then I can slide. Well, maybe I can't. Maybe I've just totally stuffed it. This is just a me thing. I trust, trust is so much easier than I'm making it. I'm just making it incredibly hard for myself. Okay, there we go. And we open this up. Oh, it's not going to be very, there we go. And then we open this up. Open, open, open. And I'm just going to slide the two edges together in the middle so you can see here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is so cute. So you've got that dimensional top, you've got that dimensional berry. But you could technically split this in half, this card front, if you wanted. It's just you'd miss the inside. They're so cute. Oh, my God. And you can just pop your fingers in the honeycomb pieces here just to... Or you can just pop your scissors in there. Just to make sure you do have it down. And you can just manipulate these a little bit just to make sure they're all fully open. Just gonna give that just a couple of pushes. But how cute is that? Very proud of you. Love the punniness. Okay, so that is card one. Let's see where we are on card two. Okay, so card two, we're in the center. But I am going to see what pieces I need 
just to get ready. So I know oh I need some twine on this card. I need a sun ray. And I need the that should have gone in there. So I need a happy day and I need a you did it for the other card. You did it and uh oh happy day for this card okay so they can go in the box um so i have one of these i have the twine i have i swap these over i have our honeycomb piece and i do have a card front okay we are ready to have a look at the instructions for this. So, tells me to put this on the inside first. I'm not so sure about that. I know it says one, but I like a flat card front to work on. So, I think I'm going to buck the trend. Oh, I forgot to share with you. The, the envelope that goes with the berry. So it's all matching and all cute. Um, I don't need that piece anymore. So that can go in there as well. And then in here, we have this envelope with this card front. I am going to not follow the instructions. How surprised are you at that? I'm really not. So on this piece, we've got all of these balloons that do have that um, glaze gloss embossed look to them. But it is factory applied. So it's a bit different to using embossing like our clear embossing. But it does give a very, very similar look. So it tells me I am putting dimensionals on this but I do need to snip a little piece here I do like to clean up the die cuts as needed okay I maybe won't put on the bow straight away we shall see so they're telling me to use four and I tend to agree with them Hi Louisa, thanks for visiting. Little mascots had enough. Okay. And one there. And I've got to somehow. Oh, maybe that is the end. Look how good they are. But leaving the end out for us. Okay, so what I need to do here is what everyone hates doing and is making a bow. So I do the loop, then I go around, and then I go back through. Lots of you will do two bunny ears and do it that way. You do you. Whatever works best for you is perfect. So... I got that first time not sure who I am but I got it first time they say to cut 12 inches I prefer to tie off the roll um, and that just kind of works for me oh, maybe I should be using my ribbon scissors here or a sharper pair of scissors I still didn't grab my ribbon scissors, but I did grab, hopefully, a sharper pair if I can get my hands into them. Yes, much sharper. Okay, twine can go in the box. I have done that. I can judge it as needed. And we kind of put this, okay, so we cover up this one in the middle. So let's take off our dimensionals. What was I doing here? Why did I need the, I must need the sun for the next card. That's fine. 
I was not reading my instructions. And it says I need it for this card. Maybe they, they made a typo. That's fine. All is good. I was following the instructions and the instructions weren't totally correct. No one is perfect. As long as it shows in the instructions, like the actual assembly instructions correct, that is what I care about. Okay, so just going to, because this very burst one is my favorite. I want to show most of that. Now, I am going to use a glue dot here, just as my preferred piece of adhesive. And I'm going to use my, I can use my scissors or my take your pick tool. And I'm going to ball it up just so it's small enough to go behind the um, tie of the, the knot. So I'm already balling it up here. So just making it as small as what I can. Just popping this here on the bottom. Okay, so that is there. So I just want to have another look at my bow and these are not even. There we go. It's much better. And I'm just going to pop that there. Now I do need to shorten my ends. Give that a really nice push down. I love how they are sitting actually and I just pull that through a bit more just so it's a bit more even grab the correct scissors for a snip one and two and now we just need to finish off the middle there we go so loving how that is looking there. Perfect. Just pop those two bits in the bin. Okay, now in the center, all it wants us to do is pop this in. So we're going to put it on one side and then close the card and pop it on the other side. Okay, please pray for me that this actually works okay we will do we won't even use scissors for this one we will use my fingernails because that seemed to work quite well last time it is kind of just working this time there we go so I do want to leave a bit of a gap in the middle. So I haven't got it quite, and I will show you. I haven't got this, oh, I think I need to have it further out. Because there's quite a bit of bulk there. Now, I only placed that down pray please pray oh, deep breaths deep breaths deep breaths i don't think that is coming out i would recommend taking it back even further from the spine um because this card will end up being a bit bulky as well Just need to grab up this piece. As you can see, they're fairly easy to put together. These will be great for kids' cards or for kids to put together together. Or for you to put together with kids. Okay, I can see the end there. I can see the shiny blue. I just need something a bit finer. 
to pull that back. So I am going to close the front of the card. Okay, maybe that isn't as bad as what I thought. And then open it. And ta-da, you have your balloon on the inside of the card. That actually worked fairly well. So you can hopefully see there how, um, how much space I gave it. And it just allows the card to go possibly as flat as it can. So it's actually not quite as bulky as what I thought. So I love that. So got plenty of room to write. They've got a fun surprise on the inside. It stands quite nicely. And you've got your printed envelope that goes with it. Now we are on to card three and I have been on for 45 minutes and I have 15 minutes of talking at the very start. So we are cruising along. So this one looks as though it has a little bit more assembly to it. Now this is the one... I really, really, I love the sun that's going to be on the inside, but I think I love the rainbows more. Just quietly, I love the rainbows more. And we have this gorgeous rainbow and then the lemon lolly on the inside of the envelope. So I can go in just like that. And we have our clouds and then our sun piece for the inside. So I am going to do the front again. So it's telling me to cut some of our dimensionals. So it's telling me I need to cut three in half. Okay, so very easy to do literally just like that especially because we've got this kit we've gone to somewhere and we don't have mini dimensionals so we've made our own mini dimensionals so are you guys just busy crafting along with me just i haven't seen any comments for a while so i'm just checking here guys okay so i need those i need those so first and foremost i'm just doing the instructions in reverse again so it wants me to glue the sun rays to the cloud so they want me to use the little dots I will use a little dot of glue and then we shall just pop this like so. Just give it a couple of seconds to grab. Oh, you're still here. You like the rainbows too, Linda. I'm so glad. Okay, now I'm going to flip these over and we're just going to add dimensionals so just let me pop that up there so we can do that do you guys like the instructions that Stampin' Up! give are they clear enough for you besides we we did find one tiny error in this one so i just need two there just one teensy little error, but that's okay. We worked it out. And the instructions, like this instructional sheet was correct. It was just, so I'm overlapping here just to give this area more strength. Okay, even though I use glue, I just want to give it more strength. Okay, so now what I want to do is just use these half pieces oh not that one this one the half pieces here on the end of the rays okay 
Okay, that is one. That is two. That is one. Oh, don't bend them. That is, this is four. And what I might do at the end of this on my iPad, I will bring up my online store and I will show you the other kit. Okay, so don't think I won't show you and I will do an unboxing of that kit when it arrives. Because it's so cute. Okay, now I do have one of a half piece, but I think I look pretty even there. So that can stay there for another project on another day. Okay, so bring in our card base. So we need to put that one, this one on first, the big one with the rays on first. Now, oh, you're doing your March pumpkin, paper pumpkin. I'm just live, love. Are, are you with or without? Without. Without. I think you'll like these. this kit that I'm making, actually. It's, it's got honeycomb pieces. I'm not finished yet. I'll bring your food in and eat it in here. Bought home McDonald's. Lucky I'd already had lunch, otherwise I'd steal a chip. So when is your April paper pumpkin due to arrive, Linda? I never, I, I don't have that information at hand. Oh, you're going to have to wait. Sit in there, sit there. Yeah. Right, so this is going to go like here and partially over that one. What's wrong? My body's rebelling. Okay, your body's rebelling. Whatever. Oh, I know. It didn't like after the tenth. Okay, so you're getting in and clearing the decks, ready for your new kit. So even though you American girls get paper pumpkin, do you also buy these kits as well? I'd love to know, because I mean I think we just don't have paper pumpkin here in Australia so that is the front done so we add the glazed sun rays the two clouds and they are matte just like the cardstock but they do actually have some shading on them so they're not total or the congrats isn't totally flat white it does have some of that pool party on there but the you did it is flat so they have a nice contrast against each other a few okay linda that's that's good to hear an opinion about that so on the inside we have our three clouds and our big sun ray and now we're going to add our honeycomb piece and would you believe so 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 quick and easy to put together Let's see, am I actually pulling the right part here? I don't think I am. Let's go the other side and try again. You didn't go far driving. Just think, whatever you share with me is recorded. I no. thought you'd be out for longer. No, this one's my way. Hmm? We went to Woi but the wrong way. To Woi Woi? Mm. Oh, okay. I thought you were gone heaps longer than you were. Right, we went around Woi Woi um, by the Bad Third West Fossil and instead yep. of going like three, we went night. Right. Okay, so this time I'm probably going to do maybe a couple of millimeters or an eighth of an inchish away from the fold give that a nice push down 
And then let's see if we can get this end off. This is the hardest bit of the whole kit for me, is just removing this backing. So if this is the hardest bit of the kit for me, I think this is a pretty easy to put together kit. No. I think we are a few layers extra here. There we go. Got it. Okay, so take that backing off and all I have to do is fold this close and give it a push. And this is our final step. But I do, mm, I think, I'm trying to think of how we could do the inside whilst we could use both sides of the outside. But I'm not sure we can. And that, unless we did it with some stamps and a marker, you could recreate the inside. Maybe I will do that. They are cute cards, Bev. I think I'd try and recreate this so then I could use both sides of the card because, like, it's, it's really cute when you open it up, but it's the back of the card. I don't want to waste it. Okay, so, and with this, we have the cute pre-printed envelope. So let's move our instructions out of the way. If anyone has any questions or wants any information, now is the time to ask your questions while I go through all of the cards. And this is Lavender's time to pop in mid burger so this is the first card lavender mm -hmm. with the honeycomb piece but how does that transport nicely though it doesn't the other two transport a lot nicer than this first card so this is our berry card mm -hmm. and this is very dimensional but that's okay this is this is a you gift it to them in person with our matching envelope, which I'm not quite sure how you put the card in the envelope. I have an idea. But, uh, yeah, what? You smash it down with your hand? No. Right. So, you know how you have those hexagonal, um, like, little sticky things? Hexagonal little sticky things. No. What? Dimensionals? Yeah, the white sticky things that you peel off with that I find everywhere. Yes. yes I, I love that. That I find everywhere. It, some of them, some, one got into my room. I don't know how. It was just in my room. I probably walked it in because the bathroom's near your room. Mm. Yes, keep going. Um, I'd need so about could... 20. Because look. No, but you could, you could have them. Yes. And then... And have that folded down and give it to them and then tell them to unpeel it. Ah, oh, as in write a note. So I could have not opened that and said, like, written, oh, so I gotcha. I'm going to yeah, grab the piece. Yeah, make it So I could take, I can't even find the piece. So I could use this piece, stick it down, and then say, on this piece, peel me. Yes. Right. That would work really well. Ah. That, that is a very good solution, Miss Lavender. I like that. Mm. So there you go. That's our Very Proud of You card. Then we have the Oh Happy Day. So we've got a nice mix of occasions. So we have the beautiful glazing on the front. And then we have our balloon, lavender, our balloon on the inside. Oh, oh did you ever do anything like that at school? No. I remember doing things. Peel and stick me. Yes, Bev. 
peel and stick me. I like that. Oh, do you have a book that's like that? You do have a book with, oh, at um, school or here at home? In my, in my bookshelf. In your bookshelf. Oh, there you so go. Medieval one. Oh, a medieval book. Right. And then that is our matching envelope with the pool party. So I, I do like that. So that'll hold that down. Actually, that doesn't go in too badly at all. So there's not too much bulk there, even though you have it. But what I would do is make sure your fold goes in first. So then when the machine is cancelling, um, it's got a normal flat top at the top for the cancelling. And I only think like that because my dad used to work for Australia Post. And I used to work there at Christmas time. So you never told that. The, what, the granddad worked for the Post? No, you did. Yeah, I did Christmas stuff, uh, Christmas casual. When there used to be, well, there is a lot of post at Christmas time, but there used to be a lot, a lot, a lot of post at Christmas time. Mm. Yeah. Um, go slow on you, drink. I was. Uh-huh. And then this is the final card, our congrats, and then we have our gorgeous sun on the inside. So what I would do for this one is have this bulk away from where you put the stamp. So I'd put it in the envelope like that. So that is our kit. I will put all of these back for you to have a look at. I will very quickly grab my iPad and show you the other kit. I can't even think of what it's called, uh, but just give me two shakes. Um, it's 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 opening up you can see me in the corner okay so if i go menu and i go kits oh i should show you that bit so what i did i went menu and then i hit kits and it's called by your side so let me make sure I just push this up a little bit more here for you so you can see and this is the kit so um, it oh no this is a stamping kit so let me get this as big as I can so you've got puppy dogs two different puppy dogs and two different kitty cats so they are the finished cards. One says, you make my heart happy. I'll always be by your side. And by the looks of it, you have some heart embellishments. So these are the pieces that you get in the kit. And I'll show you all oh, best friends forever. I love that. I need that one for Louisa, which is why I bought it. So this is the stamp set you get. So you get... A dog paw print, a cat ball, dog cat. I don't know which is which. I'd say that's dog and that's cat. Best friends forever. I'll always be uh, by your side. Here's to a true friend. You make my heart happy. And then you've got the dog bone and you've got the fish. So who loves that kit? So that is... Um, available and this doesn't come in other languages because it is a stamp set but I do wonder what color you get an old olive stamp and block so you get the stamp set a clear block the stamp and spot and the pre-designed projects and this kit is also available in French so there you go so that is the other kit. I know, Linda, it's gorgeous. So this kit is called Hooray for Honeycomb. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No one saw that. No one saw that. I'm going to have to fix that one up just a little bit. I wonder if I can squish them together. There you go. That looks much better. Well, I have no idea what I did then. 
apparently I'm watching one of my own videos in YouTube, which is not what I wanted to do. So, yes, this is the Hooray for Honeycomb kit, and we've got the Buy Your Side kit, which is our pet kit, and I've bought both of them this month. I have been very tempted the last few months, um, but time has not been on my side for um, getting all the things that I needed to get done done. So, yes, if you would like to purchase this kit, I do have a shop link in the description. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will try my hardest. If I can't, if I don't have the information off the top of my head, I will try my hardest to get that information for you. So, thank you, thank you very much, and I shall see you on thursday i'm not sure what type of video i'm doing on thursday on youtube um i do have a whole lot of scraps to use with products retiring from the current annual catalog or we may be doing an unboxing i'm not sure or we could do both so let's see how the shipping gods are in our favor and i will see you on thursday over on youtube i should be there at 12 noon but that will be scheduled so you will be able to see on youtube when i go live so thank you for joining me a little late today and i'll see you in a couple of days bye